Howdy folks, just doing a little project today and an experiment. Um, I've got this old riding mower that uh, it's just a beater and I use it for mowing the ditch and you know a little trail behind our house uh, for the dogs to go for a walk in. You know it's it doesn't owe me a dime. The battery has gone flat though this year and you know I priced out a new battery there's 75 80 bucks and I just don't want to put another new one in it because it's a lot of money for a mower that hardly gets used. I might use it three or four times out of the entire season. So, you know, it doesn't see hardly any use. Oops. Yeah, better put some heat shrink on here first. So yeah, like I said, it doesn't use, see any use, so why would I spend money on a battery for it? So I'm going to make this booster pack. I'm going to use a 3S lithium battery as a booster pack. Um, 3S is pretty much perfect voltage for that. Uh, fully charged 12.6 volts as we know. So it sh should work. I'm suspecting a lawn tractor um, probably only draws 50 to 70 amps while it's starting. So you know this 6,000 milliamp pack should be fine. In fact we might even try it with a 2200 milliamp our 3S pack. So now let's make sure that's the negative we just did. So I'll do the positive. And yeah, like I said, just making a wiring harness here out of some 10 gauge, just some old speaker wire, not exactly rated for uh, what we're going to be doing, but who cares? And just going to put some battery terminals on the other end, battery clips. And yeah, we'll see if this is going to work. I think it. I think it should work fine. But main thing is you do not keep the battery hooked up to the mower after you boost it. You know, once I get it started, I don't need to start it again. That's why this will work fine. I'm going to leave the other battery still in it, obviously. You don't want the mower uh, circuit open, the charge circuit. And that, by the way, is why you want to disconnect this as soon as it starts. You know, lithium packs, they need to be fed nice clean voltage to charge them. They use the constant uh, current constant voltage charge method and yeah you don't want dirty oscillating magneto voltage with a you know a single rectifying diode going into a battery you'll you'll destroy your 3s pack you know on that thing the voltage varies depending on rpm okay now I'll do the clip ends just got the wires pre-tinned of course, just want to make sure we get the right polarity here. So I've got the uh, battery clip soldered in. And just made sure the polarity, double and triple check that the polarity, you know, that you've got your positive going to your positive and the negative going to the negative. So I guess we'll uh, head out to the lawn tractor and see if this will work. Out at old POS mower, batteries at the back there under the seat, and here's the working working end, and I'll just show you how the battery is completely stone cold dead. Try to turn it. You know, as soon as it hits the compression stroke, so nothing in that battery. Uh, so we'll hook our little booster lithium pack up and see how she goes. And I'll put an amp meter on it. We'll see what kind of current is uh, being drawn. Got our two 3S packs. So we've got a 6,000 milliamp hour and a 2,000, or a 2,200, sorry. We'll try the 6,000 first. And I don't have these packs fully charged. Uh, I just threw them on the charger for a little bit. So, um, I'm guessing they're about... Uh, 85 90% charged. I'll just check the voltage. It's, uh, it's over storage, but 11.9 uh, volts. Hopefully, that's showing up 11.92. So, not fully charged. Fully charged, they'd be sitting around 12.6. So, we'll just hook this up positive to positive, negative to negative. And we will plug it into the battery. Get our meter out again. And we will hook it up. So hopefully you can see now what this is going to draw. I'm going to get it so there's no glare. I can hold it 
at a good angle, but I've got to be starting the mower there. I think that's pretty good. Not too much glare there. So I'm just going to crank it over. We'll see what the current is, see if it even works. Uh, just throttle it right to full here. Okay, so it started no problem, but we did see the OL there. So it's drawing more than 40 amps, so we'll go up to 400. And I'll see if we can see what it goes up to here. Couldn't tell it happened so quick, but the main thing is it starts fine with a 6,000. Again, not even fully charged, so it's not even at full voltage. Again, once it starts, make sure you take the battery off. You don't want to be feeding these things that dirty uh, lawn mower voltage <laughs> for as little time as possible. As soon as you get it started, unplug the battery. Okay, we'll try the little guy here see if it's safe for it. Uh, if you're curious how to know if it's safe, um, most watching this channel know how lithium battery uh, ratings go, but this is a 2200 milliamp and it's rated at 30 to 40 C, meaning that it should be safe to draw a 30 times the capacity. So the capacity is 2.2 amp hours 2200 milliamp hours, so 2.2 times 30 is 66 amps. So we should be safe drawing 66 amps out of this thing without a problem. You know, and that's it's normal. You know, if we use the 40C, obviously it's going to be closer to 100 amps. Put the meter on. Let's try this again on the 400 amp scale. Again, probably happens so fast. There's not a hold on this piece of garbage. Ooh, there is. Let's try that. Okay, let's see where this takes us. So again, the little guy had no problem starting it. But, so how do we bring back the hold? Did bugger all, didn't it? Well, let's try it without the hold. Okay. Contact. So it happened so fast I couldn't tell what the reading was. I'll have to look at it on the video just like everyone else. But uh, again, no problem doing it with the little guy. So yeah, if you've got an old lawn equipment that needs a starter battery and your starter battery is going and you don't feel like investing in a new one because you hardly use it or whatever the reason may be and you've got 3S lithium batteries, um, you could try doing this and seeing if you could you know, use your lithium packs as little booster packs. And, you know, once the mower is started, probably won't have to restart it again so you don't have to worry. So just an idea for anyone who wants to try it out. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.